G'day guys, welcome to the channel. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. We now have a join button on our channel, so if you would like to become a part of the IFR Mod Squad, it's greatly appreciated. We also have a Patreon. If the join button is not for you, the links will be in the description.
Our first CPU intensive benchmark of the system is Cinebench R20. We have all cores set to 3800 megahertz. We have a core voltage of 1.09 volts. And as you can see, it is blowing through this benchmark quite fast and it actually achieves some really nice results. Now in this particular run that you see on screen, we got a 13,181, but we did end up achieving 13,242 with this minor overclock for everyday use at 3,800 megahertz. Our next benchmark stress tests not only the GPU, but it does the CPU as well. Now this is a DirectX 12 benchmark, Time Spy Extreme. It is to test whether your PC is gonna be a really good 4K gaming PC. And as you can see by our end results, we did get a graphic score of 7,350 with a total score of 7,334. And you can see that our PC is better than 91% of all results. Now, of course, a lot of those results that are beating us would probably be SLI, GPUs, or say like a Titan RTX. Next, we loaded up Fortnite and we dropped into the game seeing about 130 to 240 FPS. We were observing around the scenery in different locations and things like that. We actually got into the midst of battle and everything with explosions, gunfire and things like that going around. And we did achieve that FPS constantly and never dropped below 130 FPS. So I'd say that this is a pretty good gaming machine, especially with all of the settings set to epic. Now this is gaming on a 1080p screen, so of course once you bump that up to a 4K resolution, you'll still be getting lower frame rates, but you will be getting some still pretty good results. Our next game was PUBG. We had the FPS counter going. We observed a lot of the scenery. We also got into some fights, gun battles, explosions, and everything like that. And we did see a bit of a mixed result. We went anywhere from 100 to 160 FPS. We didn't really drop below that, apart from when we were dropping in, we did get a bit of a frame drop, but that isn't for common game occurrence. When you're on the ground and you're shooting, we seem to be getting above that 100. 100 FPS mark all the way up to 160 FPS. Now keep in mind all settings in this are ultra. Our last game title that we did benchmark was all ultra settings 1080p. This is Overwatch and we were flying around on Farrah observing the scenery. Did get a couple of pics by the way. But we were observing anywhere from about 170 to 230 FPS constantly. So again, if you were to go and game at 4K resolutions, this system would be more than capable of handling these games. But 230 FPS at 1080p is certainly a really good result. Now, I know Firestrike is a DX11 title, but a lot of you guys may be familiar with it because it is used in a lot of benchmarking results for new CPUs and GPUs that come out. Now, we did end up scoring a 19,836. This puts us better than 93% of all results, of course, past a gaming PC. And of course, the people who would be beating this result would be having either similar specs to us or they might have two GPUs in SLI. For our final test, we maxed out Heaven Benchmark and we ended up achieving a pretty good score, 5,644 with an average FPS of 224.1. Uh, the minimum and maximum FPS does not really matter, but as you can see there, we did have everything maxed out with anti-aliasing at the max ultra quality. And yes, this is a DX11 title. G'day guys, welcome back to another PC build video and today we have a PC for none other than my fellow Aussie YouTuber, Lieutenant Lick Me. And for those of you who have not checked out his content or don't know what his content is about, I highly suggest checking out. I will leave his channel link in the description below as well for you guys to check out. On to the build though, this is some serious hardware inside. AMD kindly provided the 2990WX processor, currently their top of the line for multi-threaded tasks and workloads. It has 32 cores and 64 threads, so it's going to be an absolute beast when it comes to rendering out Lieutenant Lick Me's videos. Trust me, it's not going to be a slouch at all. And to company that, it's gonna help with CUDA acceleration. So the ASUS Strix RTX 2080 Ti is certainly going to help out the CPU with the rendering. And not only that, but he has a really great gaming GPU. 
Now to accompany our CPU, we did end up going with the G-Skill Trident Z RGB in Royal Silver. Now we did need fast speeds and we did need loads of it because Lieutenant Lick Me does a lot of video editing and rendering. So it's gonna absolutely benefit him having those RAM helping out his CPU in everyday tasks. Now Asus did not only just provide the GPU, we actually got the motherboard provided as well. This is the Zenith Extreme Alpha. Of course, a TR4 socket, and we did end up painting the motherboard armor in white. We tried to paint it white where we could, and just so basically it fit within the theme of this build, and it turned out looking absolutely amazing. Now we also needed a lot of storage for this build and fast storage as well. So we did end up grabbing three M.2 drives from Seagate. They kindly provided them. And we also got a 12 terabyte hard drive for the system as well. A storage for all of the videos and files after Lieutenant Lick Me has done all of his work. Now for aesthetics, we did end up going with the cable mod cables. This is actually a full set of sleeved cables straight to the power supply. So a big thank you to cable mod for jumping on board and supplying them. They look absolutely amazing, especially with the new aluminum cable combs that are on these sleeved cables. Now for cooling, because we have all of this beastly hardware inside, we certainly need to keep it nice and cool. EK Wadlock stepped up to the plate and provided all of the water cooling gear inside. We've got that really nice CPU block on the Threadripper, keeping that nice and cool. And of course, we do have the GPU block as well, also from EK Wadblocks, with that lovely silver backplate on the top. Looks absolutely amazing. So a big thank you to EK Wadblocks for helping support the build as well. And last but not least, we do have to thank NZXT for the fans, the case, and the lighting. A big thank you. Uh, without you guys, wouldn't be possible. I hope you do like the white paint job that we did to your case as well, but it turned out absolutely spectacular and an amazing result. And this nice, clean look on the outside just really topped off the build. So a big thank you to those guys as well. Now guys, if you would like to learn more about these parts, I will leave everything in the description below. They are Amazon affiliate links. Helps us out at no cost to you. It is greatly appreciated. Also, we do have a Patreon. Links will be in the description. Or you could join our channel if you like our content. Remember, we do lose money each time we do builds. We don't gain enough money off of the channel to actually pay for all of them. So if you guys would like to help us out, links will be in the description. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching. Leave your comments down below. Like and subscribe. And a big thank you to Lieutenant Lick Me for reaching out to us and helping you out with your dream PC. I hope it lived up to your expectations and I really do hope you enjoy it. A nice, clean build, simple for you to maintain as well. And hopefully it looks the part and it's exactly what you were after. Thank you so much, guys. And we'll see you all in the next one.